Hey everyone and welcome back to Medieval Engineers where we're working on our fantasy floating islands and last episode we finished up this tray depot which is on the outer walls and again this is just because the rope pathways and the bridges they're not meant for really heavy carts to go across uh, or for mainly defensive purposes but a side effect is that I mean, they, they can't do heavy trading uh, across those pathways either, so all the trading, um, at least of the initial goods, and then it gets carried over by like pack mules or something, is done here, or by airship, uh, because this is a, kind of a floating island map, of course, we'll have airships eventually. And in between episodes, I have been working on our wonderful bridge, and I cannot connect it up to there tried a couple times and it just looks too weird so the fix is I put a lower uh, wooden support and attached it to that location the bridge is fully functional it's fully uh, physics enabled it creaks it uh, move it, it'll jiggle if you jump on it and do a nice ripple effect down all the limbs uh, it has a pretty cool pattern very basic but from a distance it looks really nice and clean which is great I might add some type of railing or rope railing at some point I don't know how that's going to work I might try and work that off of tension somehow and then up here we just have where it connects to the wooden lower platform and this is structurally sound barely uh, the bit of red off in the distance there that is a roof glitch that's going on right now. It's a fairly common thing to happen in this game. I do want to show you guys kind of how much this thing can move. So if I drop at a fairly high distance and just free fall back onto the bridge, boom, we get a nice ripple and it looks really cool. I like the shadow it casts. And I, and I like the rickety sound it can make. Um, it, it really gives a good vibe. And uh, really plays the part on what we're going for. And every bridge is going to be this design. Which means it's going to be it's going to be a bit of a doozy. To basically hook everything together. The way I had to hook our bridge together. Let me see if I can't get the sun in a good position to help you guys see. So eventually, essentially I had to use pulleys and pull this end up and get it lined up to the edge. And then I built a back pulley to kind of pull it flush to the edge. And then I, with rope, I kind of tied it off temporarily. And then I built these extension arms that just kind of hold it in place for now. And it's, it's fully just held in place by these wooden brackets. If they break, uh, essentially the whole thing would come down. I might put some rope just in a spot or two, uh, just in case those do break. And you can have a little bit of an extra lifespan. This thing, when it does break, it does look fairly nice. Um, it it kind of drops away. A bunch of wood splinters go everywhere. And at the end of the episode, I'll show you guys what that looks like. So... I'm going to go ahead and delete some of my old construction uh, utility kind of supports that were, I was using. If I can speak today. Kind of jumbling my words, it seems. And this episode, we're going to be working on really just this little island. And you might be thinking, well, why are you doing just a small thing? One, it's really not that small. I mean, it's about the size of a home with a yard. So, and also we're gonna be trying to incorporate cool things onto the structure and it'll, it'll kind of set the, the tone for the rest. Then also we're going to have to decide on how to get this path up to uh, the next levels and things like that. I'm thinking if I can get away with it, 
would like to just have a staircase kind of pop up here. And then I guess go a certain way around. I guess uh, to the right would be the best. Let me grab the other tower here, flip it upside down. And the reason I flipped these upside down is because I want this wooden trim on the bottom that's usually on the top. And since we're putting a wooden path above it, it's not, uh, it won't look too bad. And we are still currently building with structural integrity off, though I do check every now and then and make adjustments as needed. I don't know why I can't drag that on to a different bar number. That would be so helpful. So yeah, we'll just go this way for a couple blocks. And then I guess go up another flight. So you can see, this is probably adding a whole lot of weight. And to solve that, how am I gonna solve that? Hmm. Maybe if I'm able to connect kind of a wooden support here, that just goes up and then arches back into the stone, I might be able to get away with that kind of supporting the structure a little bit. So that kind of moved the structural integrity weight from these over, which is great. And if we add a second one, it might just be enough. See, these are things that if you're building in survival mode, you're, you're gonna find out real quick if something's uh, structurally sound or not because this would have fallen over. See, did that help? Yep, everything's currently barely holding on to the side of this. It looks very, very weak. But that's okay. We can add some floor. And then also a curved section for the corner, like so. And that's taking a lot of weight. That's just gonna have to deal for now until we get more more basic structures kind of hooked up to it. And I found that yes, individually things are fairly weak, but we when you have very large structures and very key points spread out structure, just the tension will hold things together. And that's something to really take note of when you're doing these type of builds. I might try and look, make this look like it's carved away rather than just flat. Not sure if I'm liking that. Okay, and same pattern here. Ooh. Going to have to kind of stick this out. I think a couple more just to get around the corner. There we go. And then this will be the location where we just take it all the way up to the top. Maybe do something like this. So we have a nice set path. And it's always too wide. That's kind of the basic measurement I'm using for the main pathways in between the islands, on the islands. And that's just so we can keep things nice and simple and matching. If I had to guess, this is no longer structurally sound. No, definitely not. But that's okay. We will be fixing it as always. OK, 
A and there. Let's change this to an angled piece. All right, just like that. Put our stairs in. So these are actually be usable. This is gonna look pretty cool. It's gonna look almost, almost steampunk by the time we're done, maybe. Just from the general aesthetics we're gonna be forced to do. I'm just gonna do a quick run just to make sure the path is nice and smooth. We can sprint up this whole thing without too many hiccups. Go all the way up, and then boom, you're on top of the first island. I had to try and flatten that out in places. Now what to build on here? A tower mixed in with a small home, maybe? That might be good. A good start. So we'll do a stone path. Go ahead and just dig these out so the path actually works here. This two wide stone path will be kind of public access. Then we'll do a small tower here. That might be good. And then switch back to wood for the foundation on this. I would like to leave as much as the wood, ex I mean the stone, not the wood, and the wood actually, exposed as just an aesthetic touch. And we can just throw that there. So that'll be a nice little home, maybe some sort of bridge structure over the main pathway as well. And I think we'll use this to kind of highlight the path. Just a nice column on its side. There needs to be a door there. Then a door here get inside our structure. Now, the question is, since this is a wooden floor board kind of base, I guess I'll have to do something. You know, this isn't right. This section is not right. I need an upside down triangle here. Wow, we've already been doing this for 15 minutes, folks. It's just not fair how quickly this goes by. Yeah, a lot of weight. A lot of unsupported weight. Where else can I find attachment points? Hmm. I could do one on the center of the staircase, probably. But it might look jakey. 
If I make it too tall. It'll look weird, but if I don't make it tall enough, it won't look right either. So what if I did something like that? Nah. That doesn't feel like right either. So we'll just delete this. Alright. It's about 15 minutes in. I'm going to go ahead and kind of do some touch-ups here. And before you guys start questioning why, well not why, but how this is going to connect to that low point there, simply, I'm going to raise this up. I'm going to raise this side up to match via some sort of tower, and then we'll be good. And on this one, I don't know how yet, because if we use towers and platforms everywhere, it might not, just not, might not work. But that looks cool. Alright, I'll see you guys once this is done. Alright everyone, so this here is kind of the first finished structure on the island. We have a square tower. I might try and add effects to it just to make it look a little bit more fantasy because right now it's pretty plain. I don't know quite what to add just yet, so I'm leaving it for now. Uh, that's something I'm going to work on in between episodes. But if we work our way up here guys can see the finished uh, home, guardhouse, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of maybe the first line of defense. It can easily be a home. You can string banners and everything everywhere if you feel like it. Just adding more detail. Uh, it's got a nice open first floor. I could add, you know, a side room over here if I wanted to or make this side a room. It's a very modular design. Pretty standard what we always end up making. It's got an open kind of porch balcony thing has a wonderful view of our islands and uh, it'll eventually have a nice view of the bridge connecting over to the next island as well it has an upstairs which is fairly open and I'm really liking the I think the common theme for this one is using windmill blades instead of the normal rooftop and I think that's gonna basically be one of the main themes for this build because I really like the way it looks. Uh, I'll try not to overuse it because that's gonna be something I'll have to fight an urge to do. I tend to try and overuse everything. This tower is pretty simple. It's got a nice window. You can see straight out to the main gate. Uh, another window, not really functional. Windows on these curved stairs are never really functional. It's got a little side viewing area right here and then of course its main kind of viewing area up here. Everywhere I look on this map is going to be a wonderful view and I think that that's what drew me to using this map to begin with instead of one of the defaults. One, it's bigger than normal. Two, it's just, it's just a very beautiful map and as always I suggest if you guys uh, Go support that guy who made it on the Steam Workshop. I forget his name. It's kind of escaping me. Names aren't my thing. But, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. If you guys are enjoying the content, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more creative goodness. You can follow me on Twitter at uh, with hashtag, or not hashtag, but my Twitter handle is Uthris, just like YouTube. We're really close to 700 subscribers. Uh, if you guys have any questions, for a Q&A session. So far, no one's asked me anything, which is fine. I guess you all don't really care about me. You just want the pretty buildings. And, yeah. I'm a sad, sad individual, people. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one.